Hello guys, this is Dallas and we're back here on my Minecraft world over here at this beautiful Mesa biome. Every time I look at it, look at it, I regret not building here, but it's a place to come to get our resources as you can see. I created like a let's say five or six iron picks and uh, <laughs> I got ten stacks of clay because we were running very low. Now we're down to three picks. Um and that's what's been going down. I've been using a lot of clay for uh, certain reasons. Well, actually, now that I think of it, I didn't actually do a whole lot with clay. But um, a lot of stuff has been happening around here because um, I was going to record earlier today. I'm actually recording this like at night. It's uh, I don't, I'm not sure what time it is right now. It's probably like 12 at night. And I was going to record earlier, but I couldn't because family's been home the whole time. And... Uh, yeah, basically the whole time I've just been playing on here, uh, getting some stuff done, but there's some problems too. I'll have to show you guys. Right now we're currently way far away from uh, our building ground. As you can see right there, the mesa bombs over here. Compass points to our spawn, which is right over here in this roofed forest. And our build is hopefully way over there somewhere, if I can find it again. I'm not going to take you guys on this journey with me because it's quite a long walk. But... Um, I don't know if it's going to be this episode, or maybe next episode, or in between episodes, but I'm going to soon run a rail track all the way to Mesa Biome, and to a village, so we can get resources from either one. There's no reason for a village, we're just, I'm just going there to grab some villagers to bring home with me, because I'm a lonely slime. <laughs> Not really, but I'm just going to bring them with me, so there's spawn right over there, if you don't. If you remember, episode 1, we spawned right in a roofed forest in this little cavern, as you can see right there, it kind of loops down. We spawned on a slime. <laughs> a slime. What am I saying? We spawned on a huge mushroom. And, um, yeah, this is... I was planning on building here. Honestly, if I had a choice, I probably would uh, choose here than my spot I'm at now because I wanted a flat area surrounded by stuff like this. It's perfect. But, we're already set up, so I'm not going to move, obviously, so... Yeah, I'm going to walk here very slowly without a sprinting mod, and I'll meet you guys when I'm there. So be right back. Okay, we made it back home in one piece. I have this giant thing I built onto my house, which I'll show you in a second. That's what uh, helped me find my way back. I was lost for a second until I saw it in the sky. Um, it's a third mob spawner. Yes, a third because this is this is what it looks like so far. <laughs> if you think that looks weird, don't worry. I'm going to be building my house really tall and all kinds of... This is like the beginning of the house. This is not my house. My house plans to go like this over here, like that. Big, big old thing. <laughs> so that's going to look like... All this in between right there is going to be a house. I have a lot planned. Um, so the spawner we were working on last episode, I believe... Um, has some issues now let's go to whoa uh, I'm getting I don't know why my iPhone is doing this I'm gonna go ahead and turn this down just a bit since we're already back at home it's not even bad see I'm gonna turn that down just a little bit for now because it's I don't know it's a little jumpy this is the spawner I built up all the way I got all of the signs and water placed which took absolutely ages it's in an alternating pattern which is supposed to help them climb faster we're going to go ahead and take a look. Um, so, I have everything built. This is a design I've known for a very long time. Um, I built this all the time, an Xbox version. Um, I've never played PC, so I haven't built it in that. But this is supposed to be a... Okay, what the heck. This is supposed to be a mob spawner. And every time... This is acting up so much. Let me get over here. So... First off, mobs wouldn't spawn. Second off, every time I destroy this torch and go up back to the surface, do my things, come back down here to check on it and stuff, this torch keeps reappearing. <laughs> this block keeps disappearing. And uh, I need, I'm supposed to place that one right there. Um, but yeah, this is the mob spawner we're working on. These lights from torches that used to be here won't go away. Same as over here. It's just annoying. Uh... <laughs> This is the old zombie spawner uh, elevator that went up through there. I had to go disable that spawner to try to get better spawning rates, but nothing is spawning. This was an absolute waste of time. <laughs> this, uh, nothing ever spawns. I lit up, I went through, actually we're going to test that once we get up top. I'm going to build an x-ray machine. 
Um, I've lit up my whole surface above here. All There's tons. I hate torches everywhere. I hate spamming torches all over my world. Yet yeah, I had to do it, as you can see, to try to get better numbers. Um, do I have supplies on me for that? I don't believe so. Let's go. Oh, yeah. I got a lot of chickens, boys. <laughs> I got a lot of chickens. Now, we need something over... Uh, guys, I had a, can I not, okay, Minecraft Pocket Edition, I hate you, <laughs> I had a double chest right here with all my stuff in it, and now it's gone, as you can see, I can't hit anything right there, okay, this game is really buggy, <laughs> that, oh yeah, there's all my chicken eggs I've been collecting, so I just lost a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. I had a double chest right here. And now it's gone. Okay, well, it's just, you can always regather stuff. I'm not gonna freak out. I need to make this x-ray machine real quick. If I can, maybe not because it took some of my stuff I had. It took my minecart, gosh dang it. That sucks. Well, anyway, it's good to be back, kind of. Even though all my stuff is gone. So we're going to build one of these real quick because I need to test something. I was just going to do it with you guys. Um, I might as well show you what I'm going making right now, what's going down. This is a fail, so I'm going to probably destroy that. Chicken farm is absolutely crazy because I actually get like a, like a full stack sometimes. It's pretty crazy. A full stack of... That wasn't a good run right there. I only got like three, five there. Okay. Um, but I usually get a full stack when they all do their drops. Um, I'm kind of messing around with some designs on this. Uh, I kind of like it. Mob Spawner, that's going to be our new one. That'll hopefully work. It's Pocket Edition style, so it better work. If not, I'm giving up. <laughs> um, now, before we complain any further, I need to test if there is any problems with the caves I've explored. I've explored so many caves. It's unbelievable I had to it's all I explored all the ones under my world I had to do it to try to get better numbers in my spawning system but I couldn't for some reason so let's go ahead and do this real quick okay so uh, as you can see um, I'm gonna get something out better here torch I've lit up almost every cave you can possibly see except for a couple that's what the, those are the kind of ones I need to go over there and get um, but as you can see, I lit up almost everything. There's still some mobs spawning down there, as you can see. Which is pretty bad. Wish I wouldn't. Um, over here, there is my elevator for that mob system. There's my broken elevator for my other mob system. Some caves that run through there. There's some caves I need to light up over there. There's some signs. What is that? Right there. Oh, well, anyway, that's basically that. Um, let me get rid of this. But if you didn't know how to make that, that's how you make those. Um, you just dig a too deep hole and then uh, put TNT on the this top part right here. Put a rail on top of this block right here and then ride a minecart into it and then hop out of the minecart and then you're in a x-ray machine. Now, we're going to be working on the mob spawner today. Let me go ahead and empty my inventory. I really wish this chest would reappear. Oh, wait. It's invisible. It's still there. You can see the particles coming off. Okay, we need to empty our inventory. I'm going to break it and try to see if I can collect this stuff. Because that's really bothering me. I think I had a lot of stuff in there. I think I had like a full stack of iron ingots. Let's go ahead and... Uh, yeah, we got a lot of crap. I need to put this clay up here. Sorry if this episode's starting off pretty bad, but... Now you know... I guess I think the glitch happened. I think I made the chest and... No, no, I didn't. That's weird. I just put all my stuff in the chest and then went out to the Mesa biome to start collecting some clay. So now you guys know a glitch in the game. Uh, I think I'm thinking I might have got off of my iPhone to go do something on like Twitter or something. But that might have been a reason why. Who knows? Let's get all this crap out of my inventory. All right, Let's see if I can break this and get my stuff. A little break right there. 
No, it's only a single chest, supposedly. Oh, come on. Got a chest. Where's my other stuff? Don't do this to me. Come on. <laughs> Please. That's not cool. Thanks. Well. Oh well. I'm just gonna have to live with it for now. <laughs> that makes me sad. I think I had like a stack or two of ingots. Did it like glitch out and go down here somewhere? No. Okay. I don't think we got it. Lost a lot of stuff. Oh well. We're gonna get working on the mob spawn or some. I'm gonna go check if I have any green cacti. Any dye anywhere. I need to get organized. I'm gonna be making a chest room soon. Um, a really compact one actually because these can be placed right next to each other. No. Shoot. I'm gonna take you, you don't go in there. Homestead, just in case I forget. <laughs> um, I actually put this all in a little circular pattern like this. I actually think I have some, yeah, there we go. Um, yeah, that was all. I got my craft table and then stone cutter. And then this little farm thing right here is going to be where I spam these into it. I'm gonna test it real quick, see if I can get any some chickens. Let's go up here. Let's see if this thing actually works. Nope. I'm gonna do it like that. Huh. Come on. I don't like it when it does that breaking animation. When I'm trying to spawn an egg. Come on. Give me a one. I think that was a problem I realized. You can't hide. You can't be like highlighting a block while you throw eggs or it won't ever spawn one, I believe. My theory may be wrong though, but that's what happened to a one stack I've had before. Yeah, so try not to highlight a block. I'm gonna have to find out a different way to do this or completely destroy this thing. Um, so we need some clay blocks and there's four more. Do I have any more? Oh, there we go. Sweet. We're gonna be turning this all into I hope this chest don't disappear in me. I would be so mad. So mad. Now we can get a lot of this. I might as well take it all on board because I think we can find out with this many right here. Let's go and test it out. How many can we create? How many? Oh. Well, oh, that's all. Well, uh, in between episodes, I'm going to have to go <laughs> gather some cactus on my own but this episode we're gonna go up there and work on the spawner some I'm gonna cut it here and there just for your viewer is it raining it's just currently raining outside my house sorry it just surprises me because it's been so dry and hot lately uh, did I get wood no I didn't I have some but oh well, that'll do that'll do now this is the natural X pattern which I'm getting stuff <sighs> Oh no! That chest had everything in it I was using for my spawner. Oh my god, I hate bugs so much, guys. Mm. Alright. Alright, alright. Chill out, guys. No reason to get mad. Jeez. Calm down. You know what? Here we go. I needed some buckets for... You know what? I'm just going to create a lot. I don't care. Go fill up this real quick. Um, and then we can move on with our lives. I'm telling you guys, Pocket Edition has been making me a little bit angry lately. There's been a lot of bugs, like, luckily right now I'm lucky to be playing on these settings right now because it keeps saying, to, uh, running out of memory. I know it's just a bug and it's a terabyte issue, he's mentioned it on Twitter, but, uh, he said, it's been submitted though, so it'll be coming out here pretty soon. And there's another bloody drain. Hey, <laughs> it's okay guys, I don't get mad real easily, I'm a really happy person. Now, at this point, um, water buckets will be flowing down this way, so I'm going to be making the spawning pads like this. Actually, I'm going to work on this until that train goes by, so I'm going to cut it here while I'm working, and I'll be right back with you guys. Alright, so currently I have no idea where I am going. 
Um, <laughs> I think I am headed in the direction of a desert because we ran out of cactus dye, or green dye, and we need some badly. Uh, I got all that clay and then I only had a few cactus left, and I think a thunderstorm is rolling in, so don't be surprised if you hear a lot of thunder in the background here pretty soon. Um, so, oh, I didn't know I had a savanna this close. Okay then, alright. Good news. Now, usually deserts are by savannas, so please tell me about my compass. Oh no. <laughs> oh man, alright, so uh, <laughs> we might get lost. Hopefully I can find my way back. I am quite a hefty way back, but we just need some cactus, please. There has to be a desert biome nearby somewhere if there's a savanna this close. Come on, work with me a bit. Oh, motorcycle. What's up, man? Uh, don't you just love living right next to a train station? Uh, yeah, there he goes. Uh, a motorcycle club, which is down the sh this main road. And then, uh, what else is there? There is a, a place called Michael's Fertilizer, which is where my dad works. And all there is is tractors. Oh, ooh, sand. Yes. And all they do is plow fields and it's very and yeah <laughs> that's what you'll always hear in my videos those are the guest stars in my videos okay we got some cactus so I'm gonna gather some of these and um, I guess I'll cut it for your viewing pleasure so we can get right back to work oh god so we can get right back to work on our new mob spawner that'll hopefully work that's a four high cactus. That is rare stuff. Or is that five? We're gonna go check out actually. Is that four or five? Whoa. I think we're loading in some new chunks over here. Is that five high cactus? One, two, three, four, five. Holy Jesus. It's a miracle. Thank you, buddy. I love you. Now, <laughs> I'm going to gather all these as much as I can, and I'll meet you guys back at the house, hopefully if I do not get lost, so uh, be right back. I'm so lost. <laughs> Help me. So I've noticed a few more bugs in this, actually. Uh, the furnace glitch that has been in the game since I don't know how long. I remember watching a video of mine so old, like, I don't know how old exactly it was. I think when Furnaces just came out and I had a video out on this one random world that didn't last very long and there was a furnace glitch where if you tapped in this area right here when there was stuff already in there it would crash the game and that just happened to me many times with these furnaces right here I'm trying to smelt some clay in not clay cactus and it was annoying very annoying now uh, alright there we got some done now we can create some of this clay get back to work on the spawner now we have a lot don't we oh yeah that's what I like to see okay <laughs> I got lost there for a little bit I'm actually went straight in that direction straight to the sand biome so I'm gonna create a rail track to the sand biome rail track to Mesa biome and a rail track to this village that's over there which you guys still have not seen yet so I'm gonna to take you guys there in probably the next episode or so um, I may I don't know if I want to do an underground railroad or not because that would be kind of boring. I actually want to have a scenery as I go there, so I'm going to do it above ground. Alright, I believe we're almost done with this. Whoa, that's quite a fall there. Um, I'm not sure how well this one will work. I'm hoping it'll do alright. If it just ends up not spawning a single thing, I'm just going to say there's something wrong with my world. I know I'm not on peaceful because I was just running into mobs. I know I wasn't on peaceful the whole time I went down there and checked on that. So it has to do something with my game, most likely. Uh, this is laggy. But I'm going to go ahead and finish this up and uh, hopefully uh, have enough time to do some stuff with it. So I'll be right back. Alright, so we're getting to a finishing point here. It is almost complete. As you can see, oh man. This took quite a while, longer than I expected, because I kept running out of supplies and I had to go gather wood. Um, I did this part out of wood because I thought it would look good, but I was going to do this part, as you can see right here, out of wood too, until I realized I didn't. 
and now it kind of looks weird but I'm gonna work with it for now um, now we're gonna go see if this thing will actually work I have torches up here right now so there shouldn't be any mobs spawning um, we good all right um, I'm kind of scared it wouldn't it's not gonna work just for some reason I don't know why I'm kind of doubting myself a lot just my luck or something I'm not for sure but we need to get rid of no we do not so we need a block there and get rid of these you'll see why in a second well obviously you probably already know if you know how to build these there we go I'm gonna leave that open get these probably shouldn't have placed the water down yet probably destroy that when I'm on the ladder so I'm gonna destroy that real quick and this is really difficult to do okay um, now to destroy the torches uh, okay <laughs> sound effects for the win no <laughs> uh, if I fall down that that would not be pleasant okay it's ready for some mob spawning let's get destroy that I did not place the water over here yet which I do not know why please don't have wood on me so I need that wooden block on me so right when I place the water I need to run over here as fast as I can oh, this is a this is tough it's tough because I don't want water pouring down here. It won't really matter a whole lot. I'm going to do it anyway. And there it goes. Hey. Alright. I can't see worth crap. It's so dark. It goes right there. Okay. And <laughs> sorry if it's so dark for you guys. I can't see either. There we go. Alright. So um, now we can get rid of this. And hopefully it should work on from there. If not, then I'm going to be really sad. I'll probably go lay in my bed and cry because this would be the third mob spawner that doesn't work for some weird reason. Now we wait. Wait, it's probably night, so I'd probably decrease the count. Wait, am I on peaceful? I think I am. I am. Holy crap. I think I did that when I was on my adventure back home because I was about to die or something. All right. Moment of truth, guys. Moment of truth. Let's see if this works. Get my blocks. Is it, oh man, there's a lot of mobs out there. Alright, you should start. Uh, why is there a light up there? You guys see that? Um, <laughs> may I ask why there is light up here? Okay, guys, I am really getting annoyed by this weird glitch stuff. This better not be that glitch. Yeah, you're going to have to go for now. Oh, I forgot to plug it up. My bad. Please tell me I got that fence gate. Okay. That was completely my fault. But there we go. Oh, God, now it's really dark. I am out of here. Please. Okay. Oh, no, how am I going to get out of here now? <laughs> this is the most difficult thing I have ever done. Ever. So now I need to get fence gate out. Place that back down. Open it up. Mm, swim on this. Go down the hole. Got that place. Oh no. <laughs> oh, that's going to stand there for a while, I guess. Now we wait. I'm going to test it like that for now. Oh, man. I hope this will work, guys. <laughs> I need to take this down. Alright. Start breaking blocks. Break blocks. Why aren't you... I'm holding down on the wood. I don't know why it's not breaking the blocks with my axe. Are you kidding me? I'm holding down the screen. I guess you can't break blocks while you're moving, so I need to start here. Oh my god, why does this have to be so difficult, guys? 
<laughs> if you don't understand what I'm saying, it's kind of hard to... There we go. I need to get a head start of swinging my axe. Because it wouldn't let me there for a second. <laughs> it's so difficult. Okay. Now, let me get up here. Now we are finished. Um, I'm afraid it's not going to work just for my luck. I don't know why it wouldn't, but... um. I guess I'm going to go ahead and end the episode, guys. Uh, <laughs> I really hope this will work in between episodes. I'll, next episode, obviously, I'll update you guys on it. Or you can follow me on Twitter at the Sir Dallas. I usually am going to start like updating on stuff on my world and whatnot, what's going on. Um, <laughs> I don't think it's going to work for some reason. But, uh, yeah, that's just my luck. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Um, leave a like as you guys enjoyed, as always. <laughs> And, uh, next episode we're probably going to start on the rail tracks that lead to different areas, and that'll be fun. Try to get the house done a little bit more, and that'll be fun also. So, I'll see you guys later.